I'm very pleased to be co-sponsoring uh, the roundtable uh, for, for the second year uh, running uh, together with Ashus. Uh, we're very uh, pleased with our collaboration and uh, relationship with India Inc. and with Manoj uh, particularly in promoting India-UK bilateral relations and, 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 and trade. I think the Make in India campaign that the Indian government has, has uh, uh, initiated I think is the right step in the right direction. Uh, India needs to improve its manufacturing contribution to GDP growth. Uh, historically, it's been a very much service-led service -led economy, uh, and there's a need now to create more jobs. India, in order to deal with the demographic dividend that it has, needs to create 10 million jobs per annum over the next 10, 20 years. And I think one of those ways has to be in manufacturing, where the output quotient is actually better in manufacturing than it is in the service sector. So I think the Make in India campaign is definitely a move in the right direction. Uh, I think the Indian government is doing everything in its powers to actually make that possible for investors to invest in and also the domestically for businesses to actually invest in in manufacturing in various sectors. They've identified 25 key sectors uh, and I think uh, all those sectors have a big uh, role to play in terms of the contribution they can make to employment, which is the big issue in terms of dealing with India's demographic dividend. I think historically India has been very protectionist about the legal sector, but I understand there are steps uh, by the new government to liberalize that sector to allow foreign firms to, part, uh, to actually work in, in, in India. Uh, certainly in the accountancy profession we have been allowed for a number of years to be able to practice in India. Uh, having said that, there are some restrictions still there, but we're not in the same position as the lawyers are at the moment. I think it's, a, it's, it's an achievable goal. I think it will take some time. Whether it can be achieved in the five-year time frame that uh, the government is talking about is, is yet to be seen. Uh, but certainly I see that in next year's index, uh, certainly will, India will be higher than 142. I'm hoping that it will be in the top 100. Um, uh, but I think that that will be an achievement in itself um, and I'm cautiously optimistic that it will achieve to be within the top 50 uh, in five years time. I think, I think the, the one year milestone there, is, there has been a lot that has been achieved by the government but I have to say that that is very much incremental reform. I think what is needed still is some more fundamental reform uh, particularly in the areas of labor uh, relations in, the, in, the, in relation to Make in India campaign, which we talked about earlier. I think there's a need in terms of the education system, in terms of the skills shortages that we have in, in India. Uh, so I think there are still some significant structural reforms that need to take place. Uh, the whole area of urbanization and how to deal with urbanization uh, within the context of the movement of labor from the rural uh, uh, part of India to, to, to the urban cities. Uh, but I think it's Overall, in conclusion, it's all in the right direction. I think a year is too short to judge the government in terms of whether it's actually achieved uh, enough, but I think it's moving in the right direction. I think, I think it is what, what is telling in terms of uh, the new government is that for the first time this afternoon, we had two, three ministers uh, who were on time, didn't cancel their program, and were available and spoke very eloquently about their vision and their policies for India. I think the challenge now is to convert that into on-ground reality, which I think will take time.